Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your DNS server if you're having internet connection problems on your Amazon Fire TV. So on the home screen here, let's go on over to where it says settings and then going down over to network and select this. Now locate your currently connected internet and press the button with the three lines on it on your remote and then select your internet connection and this will forget it. Now let's go on down to where it says see all networks and what we want to do is rescan. So select this right here and go to rescan on the bottom and then connect back to the network you just forgot. So it's scanning and I can see it right here. Let's select it. Go ahead and start typing in your password. This advanced button right here on the bottom will become available for us to select. Instead of going to connect over here, go to advanced right here. Now I'll bring us to the screen where it says enter the IP address. Simply take a picture of this number that's auto populated or write it down and then fill this in exactly how it displays. So I'm just gonna to go to my phone and I'm simply gonna take a picture of this. All right, so I have this typed in now. Let's go on over to next or we can press the play button. And then for your gateway, go ahead and do the same thing. Take a picture of this or write it down and then type it in exactly how it displays. So I'm just gonna remember it, 192.168.1.1 and then go on over to next. Then type in 24 for the network prefix length and then go to next. Then here is DNS one. Now the default is the Google Open DNS 8.8.8.8. So I'm gonna type in a different one, the Cloudflare one. So this one will be 1.1.1.1. And then simply press the play button, go to next, and then type in DNS number two. I'm gonna type in 1.0.0.1, and then press the play button to connect. Now I'm connecting to the internet once again, and I can see it right here. I'm gonna press the play button on my connection. Now I'll go to the connection status page, and I can see I'm currently connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm connected to the internet, and then I can run a speed test down here and look at the results in the upper right side of the screen. So my results are 245 for my download speed, but hopefully this video did indeed help you out, did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six tech.